All right, guys, so this is going to be our first little informational video as part of the supporters feature that YouTube has allowed me to add to the channel. I figure since they've allowed us this option and we don't get a lot of time to talk about little details and informational stuff in the regular vlogs because not everybody wants to sit through and listen to it, this would be a good time to break it down to some of the people that uh, do want to hear it and do want to talk about some of that stuff. So this is a practice tree and I know a lot of people have commented about it. Uh, they think it's a game. They don't know what it is. A lot of people from different countries have never even seen this. But this is uh, a tool to help you get better at your reaction time and help you win races. I've had this thing since I was 12, 13 years old and uh, I used to just practice and see uh, how different techniques would make me quicker or slower on the tree. One of the things that Dad always taught was um, to breathe in, um, kind of like they teach you in like marine sniper training. They teach you to breathe in and hold your breath when you stage and don't exhale until you let go of the button. It forces you to really focus, it slows your heart rate down. Um, for me it actually it makes it so that nothing nothing else around you matters you're just dead focused on the tree one of the other things that I think makes me quicker on the tree than a lot of people is my nerves I don't I don't get frazzled very easy I don't get flustered um, I feel very comfortable when I'm driving I'm not nervous usually ever and I think that's just um, just being around so many different situations. Um, racing on the street with thousands of people around you, uh, it really conditions your mind and it conditions you so that you don't get nervous, especially on the track. Um, some of the street racing that I've done has really helped me on the track to where I don't get nervous at all on the track because street racing is so much more uh, dynamic where you have so many different things going on, so many different things to think about. Is there cops coming? Is somebody trying to sabotage my lane? There's a lot of different things that could be going on in a street race scenario. But um, I'm just going to go and hit this tree a couple times. All right, so that was 34. Notice I didn't, I didn't inhale. I didn't uh, really focus on the tree right there. Um, let's try and I'm going to try this time. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to set the trans brake button. So that was 14. That was a really good reaction time. Um, just simply holding my breath and inhaling and really focusing on the tree improved my reaction time by two hundredths. Now two hundredths in a drag racing situation that can be up to half a car at the hit. Um, that's a huge advantage in any, in any scenario. Um, another thing you want to think about sometimes is how hard you're squeezing the button when you're actually in the car. So when you're amped up, you're nervous, you're in a final round scenario, um, you really want to win the race, maybe the guy next to you has been talking trash. I've had this happen to me before and I, I kind of kick myself for it because whenever I get really fired up and I really want to win a race, I notice that I push the button a little bit harder. I hold the steering wheel a little bit harder and that's not good for your reaction time. You get stiff, you're not, you're not able to react as quickly when you're stiff and you're tense. Um, so you want to hold your breath in. You, you definitely want to do that. You want to focus, but you do not want to be tense. You don't want to be stiff. You want to be loose and relaxed. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tense up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend that I'm tensing up and I'm going to hit the tree and I'm going to see 
how quick I am. I'm going to smash the button really hard. I'm going to try and be as fast as I can. I was 65 on the tree right there. That was my worst light. That was, if I was 65 compared to my previous 14, I would be behind by a whole car length on the hit. And I tried really hard to hit that tree, but I, I was very tense because I was trying hard. You don't want to have to be trying hard, basically, to, to have a fast reaction time. You want it to come naturally, but you want to use those techniques that I told you to be faster. So now I'm going to be relaxed. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to do it exactly as I do uh, in, the, in the truck. Double O four. So I was four four thousandths of a second from perfect. And I can I can do this and show you the different techniques and how how it works all day. And a lot of people do it different, but usually when I'm in the truck, I'll set the pre stage bulb, I'll go in and pre stage, or if I'm on the street, I'll pull up to the first line and then I usually get bumped in to the to the staging beams or the flagger will bump me in. But usually what I do is I stage last typically because I'm a turbo car. So what, what I do is I take my deep breath when I, when I turn my pre-stage bulb on and the other guy's staged. I take my deep breath, I come up on boost and I hit the bump box a couple times and bump, bump the truck in. And then by that time I'm completely focused on the tree, nothing else is Hap nothing else is happening around me. I'm just looking straight at the tree. And I usually don't look at a single bulb. I don't try to focus on a single one because I feel like that makes you slower. It stuns you more than anything. I usually just like to gaze into nothing. I just look not into a single bulb, but just around the tree. I just look at the entire tree. I don't try to like pinpoint one area. We'll hit it one more time and I'll try to be relaxed. I'll try and get a triple O here. I don't know if I can do it. Double O eight. So that was pretty quick, but uh, it's very hard to get a triple O. It, it really is. When I first came out here earlier and I was hitting a tree, uh, when I didn't use any technique, I just came in and I just kind of hit it. Um, I was in the 30 to 40 range, and you really don't want to use this tool too much. You don't want to get to where you're just coming in and you're hitting the tree. You're just hitting the tree, and you're not thinking about what you're doing, because then you develop bad habits, and you kind of get lax. Um, you definitely want to use your technique every single time that you hit this tree. You don't want to just sit there and hit it for hours and hours and hours. And what I like to do sometimes when I'm using this is I'll take note of every reaction time that I've had for say the past 50 runs. Say you want to make 50 runs a day. Um, and you take your average, you write down every single time you hit the tree, and then you take your average and then you try to see if you're getting better or worse and then you can improve your technique and what may work for me may not work for everybody else. This is just what I've found that works in my experiences. All right, so we've got my brother here, Tommy. He's a up and coming drag racer. And he's getting into the sport this year. Uh, he used to race junior dragsters a little bit, but he kind of got out of it for a little while. But now he's got the bug and he's getting back in it. Um, so we're gonna see if my technique works for him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this as if I've come up and I haven't even listened to me like how I would normally do it. If you haven't listened to any of my tips, come up and just hit the tree. Forty-six or no thirty? No, you're 46. 46. You're on the right side. Right. So I'll do it your way. Really try to inhale, calm your heart rate, be relaxed, loose. Oh, 23. So your, rea your reaction time proved by, improved by two hundredths. I 
I did it the normal way. I didn't take you a did breath. You did it your normal way that time, didn't you? Yeah. All right, now try to inhale. Slow your heart rate down and relax. Twenty-eight. Oh, Twenty-eight. It's like clockwork. It is. So a lot of you guys may understand, some of you may not, but reaction time is very important in drag racing. You don't have to have the fastest car. I, I usually don't have the fastest car when I show up to a race, but I'm always confident that I will be the first off the line. I've won a lot of races because of the reaction time. Um, I've had a lot of races that were bumper to bumper, and that's what it came down to. <laughs> does reaction time help but gaining a, a reputation of having a really good reaction time helps as well because it makes the other driver intimidated um, when they go up to the line and it makes them push the tree it makes them push the button in harder it makes them more tense it makes them slow or it makes them red light when they guess the light which has happened several times this year I've won probably a probably five or six races this year just because of people guessing the light. Um, I actually was just in New Jersey and somebody guessed the light on me, but there's a big screaming match. Um, wasn't a very organized race. I didn't really care. I was ready to go home anyways. I was cold, so I didn't really argue it. But he definitely guessed the light. And in a normal situation with a, a regular flagger, a regular race director, I would have won the round and went on to the next round, um, but one of those things. Like I said, if you gain a reputation for this stuff, you're going to win a lot of free rounds as well. I remember at Bunker Hill this year, you literally went, I think it was three rounds where people were I went on three you. rounds without actually having to race anybody just because people guessing the instant green tree. Yep. And, um, it's it's tough when when you've got somebody that really knows what they're doing and is quick on the tree people people get intimidated and they may not want to admit it or they but it's it's just facts it, it, it happens um, and it's a very deadly weapon to have so we're gonna release this video uh, I don't normally do informational or tip videos but since YouTube has allowed us to use the join and do the membership feature. Um, I'm gonna start doing it more. I know not everybody wants to see these kind of videos. If maybe if you're not a racer or you're not really interested in trying to get, get better at, at racing or trying to learn more about racing. Maybe you just like cars. Maybe you just like to see pretty girls ride in trucks. I don't know why you're subscribed to my channel. But there's a lot of different people and a lot of different reasons people are subscribed. And for those of you that do like to see the technical side of things and do like to learn a little bit about what we do we're going to start doing these kind of videos a lot more now this this first video here i just want to release it for everybody give everybody a chance to see what kind of videos we're going to be doing um, but we're going to be doing these a lot more um, if you want to see more of these kind of videos uh, hit the join button on the channel you might have to use a laptop i don't know if it'll come up on a mobile device but you join, and I think it's like $4.99 a month. Um, I didn't learn these tips for free. It cost me thousands and thousands of dollars and losses and everything else. Um, and uh, again, it allows us to post so that not everybody has to see these. I don't want to bore a bunch of people, um, but for the people that really are serious, uh, it's a place for you guys to come and watch these kind of videos. And I'll try to do this weekly. 
uh, with tips on maybe how to make your car hook, how to set up suspension, how to pull timing, how to program a boost controller, how to do pretty much anything involved in racing and what we do, reaction time tips like this. I've got more tips that I haven't talked about. Um, and Dad does too. He knows a lot. Dad, Dad has a lot of information that a lot of this stuff I've learned from him and just kind of take it in it and use in experiences and kind of gain my own knowledge a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot more of these kind of videos. So if you, if you are into this kind of stuff, if you want to learn more, want to get better as a racer, hit the join button. Um, I really appreciate you guys. This is how we afford to do what we do. Um, if without you guys, I couldn't, I could never do this. I could never um, dream of racing and making videos for a living. So thank you guys so much. Don't feel pressured at all to do this. Don't feel pressured to um, join or you know buy a subscription. I'm not asking any of you guys to do that. Um, but if you if you want to, it's totally up to you. I appreciate you guys.